The next stop is... It's the great New York hustle, getting from here to there every day. But what do you really know about New York City transit? I've seen some things that are not pleasant. I've seen people actually having sex on the train. I had somebody dead on my train. These MTA workers sat with the I-team to share the MTA's dirtiest secrets and answer questions you might ask yourself while riding the trains. Where's the best place to sit on the train? In the middle of the car. You don't want to sit in the corners. Because that's where people throw up and urinate. Using the bathroom. Urinating? Seriously? Yes. yes. They also recommend not sitting by the doors because thieves are lurking. You'll be on your phone or your tablet, and as soon as the doors get ready to close, they'll snatch it and run off. Speaking of closing doors... I try to wait, but you can't wait for everybody. Oh, people throw their kids in the door, they throw baby strollers in the door, shopping carts, whatever they can to keep that train there, they will throw in the door. If I open up, then my train's gonna be late, and then... The train behind me is going to be late. While on-time performance has dropped for most subway lines, these workers say that's the MTA's ultimate concern, which is also a priority for customers. Even apparently when there's a medical emergency. LaShawn Craig, a train operator, called EMS when a passenger was unresponsive. Sad part about it is the customers, they're looking and they ask me, well, how long before this train go out and this person has a sheet over them? Do you ever see people live underground between stations? All the time. Mm -hmm. And they have like a little bed and stuff set up. They tap into the third rail and they're watching TV. It's Brooklyn Press, City Hall. And those subway and announcements. Four, Signal problems ahead. Is that a real thing? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. There's a red signal ahead, you can't pass it. Train traffic ahead. I'm looking at the taillights of another train in the next station. But when it's not clear why they are being held, conductors have to get creative. In an attempt to keep the customers calm, you tell them, you know, we have traffic ahead, we have delays ahead. But in honesty, you don't know, because right. they're not telling yeah, you. Radio communication sometimes can be very choppy. All this is new to the new transit chief who promises to bring widespread change. Absolutely, customers are super important, but equally so are my employees. We're one team, and we will take forward customer service by acting together as a team and by valuing what my colleagues do out there, all 50,000 of them. 